a big hello to all my little friends from Tiny Tot Tales. Wasn't it fun to read about the Brownie King? I do wish I find him in my garden too. Mm, how about going on another magical adventure with me? Are you ready? Let's go! Today we are entering the magical world of two adorable sisters, Doris and Shirley. No matter where Shirley was, her little sister Doris was never far away. Doris wanted to be with Shirley everywhere. This was not always a good thing. But if mummy ever needed to find Doris, she never had to look very far. Shirley got so used to her little sister being around that she sometimes forgot that Doris was even there. Shirley loved to ride her bike and so did Doris. But mummy worried that this was dangerous. So she bought the girls a present. Oh dear, sighed mummy. Shirley and Doris shared a bedroom. Doris's side of the room was always neat and tidy. But Shirley's wasn't. Poor Shirley. Her bed wasn't big enough for two growing elephants. One day, Mummy said, You're a big girl now, Doris. Wouldn't you like to sleep in your own bed? Doris didn't like Mummy's idea very much. But then Mummy had another idea. Everybody in the car, she called. We're going into town. In the furniture shop was something Doris had never seen before. Bunk beds. If we got bunk beds, Doris, said Mummy, you could stay close to Shirley every night. Luckily for everyone, Doris loved the idea. Mummy ordered the bunk beds. They would be delivered next Tuesday. Doris quickly became a bunk bed expert. The best thing about bunk beds, she explained, is that sometimes you can sleep on the top and sometimes you can sleep on the bottom. Exactly, said Shirley. We can even swap over every night if you like. Hooray, shouted Doris. I can't wait. Neither could Shirley. Finally, the bunk beds arrived. Top or bottom, Shirley? asked Doris at bedtime. Shirley couldn't believe her luck. She clambered up to the top bunk. Good idea, Shirley, said Doris. And tomorrow, we'll sleep on the bottom. <laughs> Wasn't that a lovely story? And aren't little sisters the best? They might annoy us sometimes. But there's no denying that they are our best, best friends. Well, that's all from Tiny Tot Tales. Till next time. Tools, everyone. If you enjoyed listening to this story, please do like and subscribe to Tiny Tot Tales. If you have any story requests, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you.